All right, thank you, Kelsey. Well, Boise has been basking all week in Basque culture. Sarah Ashwin recaps the last blowout on the Basque block downtown. The week-long festival wrapped up last night, and I spoke with people who have traveled all over the world for High Aldi, some of them saying this was the best event they've ever seen. Bass spent the final day of High Aldi expressing their deep love for dance and music. The week-long event brought people from all over the world to Boise to celebrate their heritage. There is an evolution of the Basque, uh, of the Basque things, of the Basque heritage here in the States that uh, have uh, in common, many things in common with the old world, but also it belongs to the, to the new world. So, and that's, uh, and that's a part of us and it's part of America also. And to reconnect with friends from the past. And to have all these people come from around the world and kind of look up to this festival as a way to um, really save our Basque culture and make sure that we maintain it. I think it really gives us a shot in the arm to stay motivated to keep doing what we're doing. High Aldi brings old and new world Basque together to see just how the traditions have changed. The people I spoke with say this year's festival was the biggest and best it's ever been. Obviously this year is amazing how many people have turned out. They ran out of food, they went to make more. And this has been an incredible success, I think, for the local Basque community. Every year it gets bigger and better and more diverse. It's just, um, I can't believe the things that we have. We never would have imagined we would have some of these things the first ILD. Visitors will board their planes and get in their cars to go home. But just like the Basque culture itself, the memories and friendships made this week won't ever die. Viva Hayali! Hayali won't happen again for the next five years, but judging how well we did this year, I'm sure we can expect to see even more people the next time. Sierra Oshrin, KBOI 2 News.